Okay, somebody asked me about my experience. Um, I've got a financial situation with my bank, uh, uh, which is currently blocked. My bank account is currently blocked. And it said, um, <clears throat> how I do that, how I'm dealing with it. And uh, using the observer cancelling beliefs or just being as I am or just letting it disappear. And I guess, how do I know, um, how do I choose which one I'm doing? Mm. Well, I'm I'm quite lucky, you know, I, I have these groups that I'm attending right now, um, which happen twice a week at the moment, which is a blessing. Uh, so in these groups, um, there's group observing happening, uh, which is one way of clearing the drama of, of uh, the illusion of money. Um, so just being in the group and being reminded to be in the observer, which is be before all, all limited ideas and illusions, um, that's also clearing. So that's a, that's a grace. I also have, um, I also go to 12 step groups where I will just do, do the prayers like, uh, in a 12 step group, I'll, uh, do prayers like I surrender I, and the way I, I modify the prayers for 12 step, like I surrender to God, my my blocked bank account into God's infinite light and love, and I pray to God for forgiveness, transcendence, and miracles. So I'll do that. Uh, or I pray to God for forgiveness for the one in me who's flat, inflicted financial pain and suffering on others in this lifetime and others in a 12-step group. So I'll utilize those because it's appropriate. I can use that in the 12-step groups and in these observing groups. I can be the witnesser, and that's dissolving uh, the, the, the identification with the money drama. Um, or just letting it be. Oh, that's another way of doing it. And that's also to some extent, you know, having these observer groups twice a week, uh, you know, the observer is the reminding of just being in the eternal stillness is getting stronger and stronger. So just by being in that place more regularly, uh, for that to happen automatically, it will just disappear. The illusion, how do I, cho there is, the choosing is intuitively and the choosing is also dependent on the context. If I'm in an observer group, then obviously uh, the work will be done by being the witnesser. If I'm in a 12-step group, it will be done through prayer. Uh, it depends on the context. If I'm, uh, like in the evenings, I'll be uh, listening to Hawkins uh, on his um, on my subscription. And just listening to his voice helps me um, just be in, in the witnesser before all of this. So it's just it's just automatically depending on what's happening in the day, different tools are automatically utilized to just uh, dissolve it at um, in different contexts and in different. Usually, if something's very heavy, uh, yeah. Uh, so I suppose if it was very heavy, I could listen to Hawkins and and just practice the observer nonstop for several hours. But usually, um, within a short time of a little bit of observing and speaking with others, praying in front of others, it's usually um, g getting quite vague. So it doesn't seem that intensive work with it is necessarily required. It might be, who knows? So um, it's, uh, yeah, it's it's one of those things. It just depends on how bad the pain is uh, and what is intuitively the inspiration as to what would be, you know, just remaining in the observer, practicing the observer, listening to Hawkins, being in the observer, or um, doing doing prayers when it seems appropriate to be doing prayers and cancelings and surrenders, um, uh, and uh, or just being in these groups, you know, where it's very easy to forget this stuff. 